Breaking news. As elections draw closer, I beg your pardon for every single day that breaks and every night that falls. And then you see, you go to bed and you wake up, draws this country called Nigeria close to another election year. Particularly upon us is the 2023 presidential election, which has taken the center stage. Some time ago, precisely 1997, yeah, just before Nigeria went to democracy again, yeah, 1997, Tinubu made some statements, and then today is making consultations wide and far. And this same statement is what is making Sunday Boho be in custody that a young man who has wife and kids spent Christmas and New Year in custody with nobody paying attention to when he will be released. In 1997, Tinubu told Nigerians... In 1997, Tinubu made a statement and told everyone who cares to listen, I don't believe in one Nigeria. For this statement, the North is telling Tinubu, you have to apologize. Let's get all the details. Northern APC Group has asked Ashwajo Ahmed Bola Tinubu to apologize over his 1997 comment, I don't believe in one Nigeria. You can see it in the papers, yes? You can see it. It may not be so big, but I mean, you can get a glimpse of it. A group of the All Progressive Congress APC party members in the North Central Zone has asked Ashiwajo Ahmed Bola Tinubu, APC national leader and presidential aspirant for the 2023 election, to apologize formally to Nigerians over his comments in 1997 that he does not believe in one Nigeria. The group was the group who frowned at a statement made some time ago, um, describe what Tinubu said some time ago as could be hinderous to his presidential ambition. The group who formed a forum to pursue emergence of president from the North Central region said, even though Tinubu's comment was decade ago, it is now worth retreating, saying he declared his intention to run for Nigeria. If he wants to be Nigerian's president and we, we believe in one Nigeria, he has to retell us his position from that 1997. Speaking on behalf of the forum on Monday, January the 24th in Jos, Plateau State, the capital, Sally Mando Dazi said, in this day publication of April the 13th, 1997, Tinubu granted an interview in which he quoted as saying, I don't believe in one Nigeria. And since that interview has resurfaced as a result of his presidential ambition declaration, people have begun to raise eyebrow and asking damaging questions. So many people have been calling and mocking us. The party saying that Tinubu does not believe in one Nigeria, just like Sunday Boho and Onandi Kano, yet is contesting for the pres presidency of one Nigeria. Are you guys not sure Oduduwa's nation will be actualized? This has this has not only been agitating from agitating people, it has also come from the APC national leader some time ago. This is his heart, this is his mind, this is his true position. The national leader of the party has just spoken up on the issue and the way he sees the nation. The most honorable thing to do for Tinubu is to come out and retract his statement and go back to believing in one Nigeria publicly. Nigeria is on the mark on which we made before the democratic dispensation which began again in 1999 and it should be as well explained to Nigerians what he meant by that statement when retracting the statement he now made. So welcome to Nigeria my wonderful people where Ashiwaju Ahmed Bola Tinubu has been made to face the tune of the music which he has set on. I don't believe in one Nigeria. Can you see that? There is no, everybody speaking here and there, eh? to a large extent, you know, uh, uh, Sunday Boho is not wrong. Unandi Kano is not wrong. Things happen at that time. Don't forget that it was General Sonia Bacha that was the president when they said, I don't believe in the one Nigeria thing. 
And why didn't they believe in the one Nigeria thing? There were things these people did that made them not to believe in the one Nigeria. So what has these other people done separately that is different from the one Nigeria to which they are being criticized? So can you see that we are deceiving ourselves with, you know, with, the, with the depositions we are taking? This is Tinubu, the intending Nigerian president. Has told you some. This is the truth. When a man, eh, if you are discussing with somebody and somebody really wants to open up, person, the person wants to tell you what it is. The first thing that comes out when you are having conversation with somebody, when the person begins to speak his heart, unless you are not vigilant, unless you are not paying attention, unless you are not someone who pays attention to details, you will know when the person is speaking from his heart, when he's making things up to a large extent, all things being equal. You will know. You will know. Okay, you will know. So when you look at what Tinubu said at that point in time, when uh, uh, our very own brother, late, you know, our very late brother, uh, General Sonny Abacha, the one's detector of Nigeria, I don't know himself and Buhari, who is worse anyway. You know, he told Nigerians then, I don't believe in it. This was before the dispensation of 1999 started again with democracy, of which he became the governor of a, a legal state for which he spent eight years to tenor. And now he wants to be Nigerian's president. Don't forget that Tinubu is trying to dot his eyes and cross his T's so that he can, you know, potentially nothing stand on his way. For instance, the Alpha Beta case, he has asked that the matter be settled out of court. These are some of the, you know, precautions he's taken so that it does not come back to bite him in the butt. But you cannot retrieve some of those words. For instance, I don't believe in one Nigeria. He stares you in the face. He does. Is back on your face. Yeah, it's thrown back at you. And so Tinubu cannot lie that he does not understand what the statement is. No, he can't lie about it now. Can't say he does not understand what that statement is. So my wonderful people, these are the things happening day, now, and time. Now the North is saying to Tinubu, we have retrieved the paper precisely. You gave that, that, is, that interview on April the 13th day of 1997. Is it that you retrieve the statement or we ret retrieve our, our support for you? So you see, what a man says can go a long way. This is, um, by 2007, that was 10 years. By 2017, that was 20 years. So 20, how many years ago? 24 years ago, yes. And now they're asking him to come back and retrieve the word. If I'm correct, 20, 24, yeah, yeah. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like, or share, subscribe. God bless. Bye for now.